Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance, your boss man, and I know it's been a while since I've last spoke to you guys in a formal boss man episode, but a lot has happened. I got I got sheets of paper here, like two sides here, with uh, lots of stuff going on, and today I want to do an extra special episode. Uh, the last two episodes were very discussion oriented. This one's going to be more so covering a slew of things that have happened in the last few weeks. In particular, we have entered E3 rumor season. It is probably one of my favorite times of the year because oftentimes the amount of rumors that come out end up actually being more exciting than what reality ends up becoming at E3 itself. Uh, so it's sort of a buildup of hype that never really gets fulfilled. Uh, but that being said, there's a lot of rumors that come through the grapevine and end up being true. So, today I want to bring up some of the most popular rumors happening in the last few weeks and kind of give you two percentages. One, a believability percentage, and then two, how much I really want it to happen percentage. Alright, and in here we have some Zelda rumors, some NX rumors, some Sony rumors. Uh, so, we're kind of covering all of our bases here. Uh, so, here we go. Join me on this journey as we step back through time and look at all of the currently most considered rumors or talked about rumors out there. All right. So the first rumors we're going to talk about are the most obvious, the most recent, the ones most relevant to Zelda and former fans, the recent Zelda U rumors. All right. So these rumors originated from Emily Rogers on Twitter. Uh, she, I don't, I'm not even sure what her exact profession is. I know she's done some writing for Nintendo Force Magazine. She has a blog. Uh, she wrote an editorial a long time ago that I really liked a lot about Satoru Awada. Um, and some of the mistakes he's made when he was CEO. Rest in peace, good sir. And, uh, she seems to have connections inside Nintendo. Now, she's got some stuff right in the past, some stuff wrong in the past. I'm not here to tell you. Um, how awesome she is or how bad she is. Uh, we're just going to state her rumors and go with, go with some percentages here. So, rumor number one. It says, yes, Zelda is coming to both Wii U and NX. I confirmed it with a ton of people. You can choose which one to get or you can buy both. Alright, so, <sighs> believability on this rumor, 95%. That's right. I'm going with a very, very high percentage on this. I think it's an extremely obvious uh, thing to happen. <laughs> I almost don't even want to call it a rumor. That's how much I really think this is going to happen. If NX is this year, and that is still an if, we don't know, but if the NX releases this year, Zelda U is going to it. So, yes, 95% sure, with a 5% kind of if that the NX might not arrive this year. Uh, but yes, and she, of course she says she has a ton of people I, I don't know if her sources are correct or if this is just really logical thinking. Either way, 95% sure. Uh, as for the percentage and how much I want it to happen, 100%. Yes, I really want this to happen. I think it is the absolute best thing. In fact, I feel it's imperative for the future of the series that this happens. I worry too much that if it's Wii U only, sales are not going to be high enough. And it could end up being the last big major console Zelda we ever get if the sales don't justify the cost. All right, so rumor number two about Zelda U. Emily Rogers said that she heard from multiple sources that you can choose between a male or female as your playable character in Zelda. Now, obviously, she, when she said that, she's sort of referring to in Zelda as in, in Zelda U. Uh, note, it does not say as a as a male or female link. It says male or female character. All right, so that really opens the door to it could be a male or female link. It could be Link and Linkle. It could be Link and Errol. It could be, I, I assume Link's one of the choices. Uh, but, yeah, so believability in this particular rumor. Well, I'm going to go with 75%. Why 75%? Why so high? Is it because I really want it to happen? Not necessarily. Uh, I'm actually looking back at some stuff that A.G. Anomu said back in 2014 when he first teased Zelda U, and some fans thought that Link looked a bit feminine in the reveal footage. 
and he said that no one explicitly said that was Link. It fueled even more speculation. And then he fired back and said, well, yeah, of course it is Link. We can't show off a Zelda game without, you know, with anyone but Link. But uh, he did note that he thinks that people shouldn't care so much about the appearance of the character uh, because for all intents and purposes, we are that character. We are Link. Uh, and without saying the exact word, he was virtually saying that we are Link, as in Link is more like an avatar for us to play with. Now this was all in regards to Zelda U. I don't think he was referencing any other Zelda games. Uh, so if you actually think back to his logical wording, um, he was almost hinting at us that Link, for Zelda U in this case, is an avatar. Uh, and as such, a gender option is something that makes a heck of a lot of sense. Uh, so I know that he's never really given a definitive answer on if there would be gender options or if there would ever be a play playable female in Zelda um, in, in terms of the main protagonist. But I'm still going to go with 75%, not just because of where the rumor comes from, but because of AJ Nomo's own words that seem to clarify that Link in this case is going to be an avatar. So, yeah, that's what I'm going with. Uh, as for the percentage of how much I want this to happen, I'm going to go 50-50. Uh, I am really indifferent on gender options in Zelda. I'm going to play as a male Link, unless I'm live streaming and all of our fans request I play as the female Link or female Linkle or female whatever it ends up being. Um, I really don't care. I'm always going to play as the male Link. I don't think gender ultimately matters when it comes to Zelda. Um, Link could be a, you know, a female toad for all I care. As long as the gameplay is amazing, that's why I play Zelda games. Um, and I don't think the stories are really that relevant on the gender of Link, to be honest, but that's whatever. That's neither for nor against gender options there. Um, I just don't care. So my want factor is 50-50. If it happens, it doesn't bother me. If it doesn't happen, it really doesn't bother me. Um, so the third rumor, uh, it says, there is voice acting for most of the characters except Link. Uh, this rumor, we're going to put the believability factor at about 60%. Uh, and I'm, I'm saying 60%, uh, a little bit lower. If you notice, I'm going to go to slightly lower for each of these rumors. Uh, because voice acting might not be uh, what, in, in the literal sense of just talking. Here. Usually when we think voice acting, we think characters talking to us. Uh, there has been voice acting in Zelda before. Midna was fully voice acted. Uh, Navi actually had audible words. Hey, listen, hello. You guys all remember that stuff. Um, Tingle, you know, Kula Limpa, all that stuff. Like, there's been voice acting in Zelda before. So it's not um, hard to believe that there would be more voice acting in Zelda U than we've probably seen in any other Zelda game. Um, but at the same time, it says for most of the characters, so there's a chance that there's going to be several characters in the game that don't have voice acting. So it's really, it's really one of those things where there could be voice acting, like Midna, where it's, it, it feels like gibberish to us, but um, there's still text on the screen. Or it could mean full-on voice acting. It, it's, it doesn't really clarify here enough for me to want to be like, yeah, we're getting full voice acting, because we don't really know that, and this rumor isn't very specific. Outside of the fact that Link himself will not, or herself, or whoever it ends up being, will not have a voice. So, I'm going with 60%. Uh, as for my want percentage, 100%. I have wanted voice acting, particularly full voice acting, where they audibly speak to me and I understand what they are saying without having to read a text. Um, I felt that it's quintessential that the series added it a long time ago, and I think it's actually something that's been holding the series back, in my opinion. I know many of you disagree. It's it's okay. We're allowed to all have our own opinions. All right, so that wraps it up for the Zelda rumor portion. So now uh, we're going to move on to some NX rumors. We know how much you guys love talking about the NX, uh, a console that we have heard nothing about other than that it exists. And we've heard several times that Nintendo is not going to talk about it. I think their last Nintendo Direct, they actually put up a little disclaimer, we will not talk about NX. Uh, and they've been, <laughs> that's pretty much the only time NX is brought up by Nintendo anymore, is them telling us they're not going to say anything. Uh, so these NX rumors that we have here, there were two batches of them, but they all come from the same person. Uh, they're from a user on Reddit. I know what you're thinking, it's a user on Reddit, it's 0% believability, right? Um, 
So this user uh, named Untype Hero, he is verified by Reddit, um, but more importantly verified by NeoGAF as someone who does have verified connections to Wii U developers. So whoever this person is, it has been verified by pretty trustworthy people that they have connections to people who have made Wii U games or are currently making Wii U games. Okay, so uh, I, I don't know how much that means you want to believe this stuff, but we're gonna go we're gonna go by this and we're gonna we're gonna kind of go point by point just like we did uh, for the Zelda stuff and talk about believability. Um, and then I'll give you kind of overall believability percentage on all the rumors put together. So first off, uh, the first, very first room, the big one is that it'll have x86 architecture. That is 32-bit PC architecture. This is currently what the Xbox and PlayStation uh, 4 are using. Um, that makes a lot of sense to, to be with them. I personally, I'm going to put about a 50-50 uh, believability factor on that, on that rumor because I don't know if x86 is a perfect picture. 64-bit uh, is becoming very, very common. In fact, it's more common in computers today than 32-bit, especially on newer computers. Uh, and it's not x86, it's x64. Uh, but, you know, it's really a toss-up. x86 uh, could be, I guess, you know, it's some sort of PC architecture. I would say it's probably 100% uh, believability on that it is some form of PC architecture so it's easier to port third-party games uh, so but yeah the the exact point that it's x86 I'm gonna go 50 50 because I think it could be x64 still so that's my my personal believability is 50 50 but 100% that it is some sort of PC architecture as for my want well 100% I think it's important to look at what your competitors have done with their architecture and make your similar enough that it can port games to your console very easily uh, so that's uh, yeah I, that, that's a part of the rumor that I really like uh, the next one says that backup data uh, that there will be backup data to a Nintendo server most likely through my Nintendo uh, I'm gonna put this believability at 80% uh, the only reason I'm not gonna say 100% is because Nintendo has yet to pr show that they are willing to backup save data and all that stuff to a, a, a cloud server uh, but a lot the other competitors do it and it seems logical that if Nintendo has been improving their online experience, which they have been with Miitomo and my Nintendo, that they would do it. So, yeah, my want factor is 100%. I think it's always important to have cloud backup saves. Never know when your console is going to crash, your hard drive is going to crash. Um, you know, you might sell your system and want to buy it back. It's a lot easier to download off the cloud instead of trying to do, like, all these weird account transfer things that Nintendo does now. And you got to call support. And, it's, it's a pain in the butt. So 100% I want it. 80% believability it's going to happen. It seems very likely. Um, the third point is that there's going to be support for an additional screen. I'm putting this at 100% believability. And I know what you're thinking. It's a rumor. How could you be 100% confident? Uh, I'm 100% confident in it because even if it doesn't support the Wii U gamepad, um, I have a feeling that no matter what, the uh, NX is going to support whatever the portable NX is. And I think you're going to be able to connect the portable NX to the main NX console and use it as a second screen experience, which might be how they make Wii U games backwards compatible, potentially. Uh, so I think it's a given because they're going to unite those platforms together. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going with 100% believable on that just because Nintendo's still going to have a home console and a handheld um, in my opinion, so I feel like that's 100% believable. As for do I want it to happen, well, uh, yes, 100% I want this to happen. I think it's very important um, that they don't necessarily give up on the second screen experience, uh, but that they do it in a more organic, non-forced way. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, so it says it can handle ports of current gen games. I'm going to go with 100% uh, believability on that because it would it, the technology that PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are using is extremely affordable. Um, if you were to build from the ground up, you could build similar stuff now for a lot cheaper than what those consoles currently sell for. So I'm going to go 100% believability in that. Bare, that's like the bare minimum it's going to have. Uh, 